Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to Satisfactory. And oh boy, welcome to episode one of season three. Like, hello? The game is finally full released. We're in 1.0. There's loads of new machines. And oh boy, you better believe I am ready for this playthrough. So, without further ado, I'm not going to keep you here for long. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. And without further ado, let's do this. Oh boy. Welcome back, Bits. World premiere. Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Group 8? Interesting. Attention, Pioneer. I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit Pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All Pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every Pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. Oh? Then that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Excuse Fix me? Short-term solutions to long-term problems. We've already come across lore. Planet fall. Oh, we're going. Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. We're dropping Threat in. Within acceptable parameters. It feels like a good minute since I've done the onboarding process. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. They've definitely changed the fire. Backup parachute. Oh my god. Deploy the parachute. No, don't skip the parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. And here we are. The start of something new. <laughs> I do not know why I sang that. Touchdown. Planet fall complete. Oh my god. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Breathe it in. Fresher. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive Planetfall. Oh Welcome to my two, god. B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Got the Xeno Zapper. Next objective dismantle the drop pod. Fixit Incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. I'm just grabbing all biomass as I can right now. But as you can tell, we are in the northern Next forest. Objective. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. I think we already know what location I'm going to right now. <gasps> bean! Hi, Bean! I am back. We've got so much stuff we've got to do. Hey, friend. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So I originally started in the Rocky Desert and I thought, you know what? I kind of feel nostalgic over the Northern Forest. Even though it has undergone a lot of node changes, especially in the area I'm going to. Majority of like, you know where I'm going to right now. But I'm just running down here, grabbing as much biomass as we can. I have got aliens are aggressive, so they, they will attack me, like the, 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 the mobs. We're not going to be spawning in any uh, power shards this time. We're not going to spawn in any hard drives. We are literally playing straight vanilla. Uh, and uh, oh boy, am I super excited. And we are already arriving at our location where we're going to be playing our playthrough. So I am, I, I'm kind of going to utilize this area as like a base of operations to start with kind of like our mini starter factory we're not gonna go super crazy straight off the bat 
Um, but Hog, oh my god. It's been a while since I've fought you guys. At least I can still sidestep you and whatnot. Oh, hello. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Okay, so obviously we'll put that into the mam. So let's just ping some ore, even though I'm stood on it. Let's get rid of this iron ore. Oh, alloy it. Next objective. Use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron mm. is a base the component hub. necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. <laughs> you know what? It has got a little bit sassy, you know. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Oh my god. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Hub upgrade one. We've got the crafting table. Oh god, this is gonna... Oh, here we go. I totally forgot about the whole onboarding process. We've got to do a lot of handcrafting right now and whatnot. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we do have... We don't have any rods on me, but I do need to quickly... Go and hand grab some bloody iron ore. So let's grab some iron ore. Start breaking that down into iron ingots. And then I can start making some rods. And then we can send our first milestone off. Well, upgrade the hub, which will give us the framework. Hi, right, Ada. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone. The first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix-it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. Okay, there you go. There's hub, 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 <laughs> hub upgrade two. There we go. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with fix-it technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade three. Okay, right. So now I'm just going to quickly make some portable miners because I'm going to place these on the iron, limestone, and uh, copper. And they're also stackable now, which is super, super nice. I didn't actually fully realize... Um, I think I mentioned it in a pr one of the previous breakdown videos. And uh, yeah, it's a super nice little thing. So they're not always bloody taking over all my slots now. Place them two there. And then place them two on the iron. And then we may as well get rid of this whilst we're here. All right. With that out the way, I can now start working on the next milestone, which is hub upgrade three. And we need to get 20 plates, 20 rods, and 20 copper wire, which we have the plates. We don't have the rods. And we definitely don't have the copper wire. So I now need to go back over there to get the copper wire. Well, the copper ore, and then I guess I might as well empty this, and then I've got to handcraft more ingots and stuff. So let's grab all of these, grab all of them, grab the copper, and then make the items I need to hub upgrade four, three. Hub upgrade three. And then I can put them in there, and then also the copper wire in there, and then I can upgrade that. Boom. And then we've got... Hub upgrade three. Interior oh, we already had that. Completed. The oh, my, oh my god, my entrances are on here. And power poles allow for the yeah. expansion of the power grid. When you oh make a mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective complete hub upgrade four. I will do that as soon as I get my character created. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with like a dark bluish. I also have the gold uh, helmet here as well, as you can see. Or we can go with a big head. <laughs> but I kind of like this helmet. And I think I'm going to go with like my orange. Oh, I've got hiccups. I think I'm going to go with like the my orange and blue, I think. Um, I think I want to make this blue a little darker. I want to go with something that... Because a lot of people are kind of going to go with like very vibrant colors and whatnot. But I think I'm going to go with this. We're going to get the gold build gun and then we're also gonna get the trinket the golden trinket uh and then let's do that and now we need to start working on uh hub upgrade four which is i can't even remember what that was upgrade four was 
we get the belts unlocked so i need plates wire and concrete i actually don't have concrete but let's select that i do have the cable because i've made some of them uh, but what i could do also is i might even look at putting down a smelter so we can get some of this ore being refined so let's just kind of put like a basic one here with a constructor oh i need reinforced plates actually there's a hard drive just around this rock which we could be able to get and there should be some reinforced plates there and i think the hard drive is actually free here it is just down here it should be protected yeah we're gonna have to zap these up though hi friends friendly where's the other one there he is nice let's grab some of them and there's plates here there's reinforced plates here let's get that what else is here there could be some stuff hidden underneath these these bushes as well because i could actually use these to the resource sink to actually get some like coupons oh and there's actually some supercomputers here the new supercomputers uh let me just uh get rid of you and then i can grab some limestone oh i don't even have enough room uh, I should have put some stuff. Uh, I can get rid of that one iron ingot. Let's just grab all of that. Grab all of that. And at least I can make some limestone at least. Um, um, uh, let's get rid of the iron. We got quite a bit of iron on us right now. Let's grab that. And then I can get back to the base where I can then just throw you in there, you in there. I need to make some concrete. So I need to make... I think I, need, I, think I only need 10. Yeah. Oh, I can't even handcraft. Oh my God. Let me... Where's my chest? Let's just throw you in there. Uh, let's just throw you in there, you in there. And then let me just quickly handcraft some concrete. And what I should have done as well is I should have set up that smelter like I was going to do. No, the constructor. But let's just throw that in there. Hub upgrade. Boom. Bada bing, bada bosh. I think I might Hub flip this hub upgrade around. I feel like it's the wrong way. Utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Hub upgrade 5. We're actually flying through this onboarding process, to be honest. I'm just going to put the wood in there, get these powered up, get some iron plates going at least. Um, and then what we need to do now is look at upgrade 5, which is going to require all of that, which actually we just need the concrete. And I do have the limestone on me to get done. I just need to keep on top of this concrete because it's an absolute pain in the butt for early game. So I've got 20 of that. Let's just throw that in there. Get the next bit of dialogue or a bit of lore. Oh, second one. Hub upgrade five, power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This <laughs> or an itchy within scalp. Five to seven work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Okay. So I, like she said, can I actually make some biomass? I don't think I can, right? No, oh, it's here. Okay, we need all of these. Um, okay, we've got the wire. I don't have the concrete. We have everything else apart from the concrete, and I think I can be able to make it. I can. I can just make it. Oh, boy. And then that means we can start working on tier one and all that kind of good stuff. And then I can throw the concrete in there, and then bush. That is that done. Hi, Ada. Hub upgrade six. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations. You have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a fix-it pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. Oh god, she actually has got a lot more sassier. I kind of like it though, and I'm glad they kind of sticks with the same Vocaloid. It would have been obviously, you know, what the, you know, more beneficial if they got a 
kind of like voice actor, but I think we're way too accustomed to having Ada as a Vocaloid, which is uh, I'm 100% fine with. What I think about what doing now is I'm thinking about getting some iron, um, getting the miners down on these ores, and then start putting the smelters down. So I want to start making like rods and then screws. And then I want to start doing that with the concrete and then also the uh, copper over there as well. So after a little time later, like I said, I've got the plates being made here. I've got the rods being done here. I've got concrete just coming down here. Everything's a little messy. And I've even brought the, co uh, the copper from over there to just this little setup right here. Um, I think about whilst we're doing the, oh, I've got screws here as well. Um, I've also flipped the hub, the hub because it was kind of doing my head in. I had to keep running around to go inside just to, you know, basically just take a bio break sometimes and just flush things <laughs> because we can flush the toilet now, of course. <laughs> I've just sent off base building as well, which is now currently being returned. Um, so we've unlocked base building. Um, and now I want to start looking in towards probably field research because I do want to go and find a mercy sphere and whatnot and maybe look a little bit of Sam ore so we can kind of, um, you know, progress through. Oh, that's a new little notification in the corner freighter re-entry so let's start looking into that i need to get screws i need wire and that and let's send that off which means we can now go and explore and there's only one location right now which i think Milestone is accessible to the, the actual um, analysis machine referred to as the mam with local resources to research and develop new technologies potential technologies include exploration tools weapons and factory buildings these are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency in alignment with Fixit's core pillars. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the pioneer contract. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, so as I was saying, there's only one place I know that we're able to get it with uh, Samor. And because they've all changed, the nodes have changed. So I'm going to head up to the Crater Lake because we saw one in the trailer inside the lake. So I'm just going to head up there and hopefully we can try and find like a Mercy Sphere on the way there as well. Uh, and see what they're going to be doing now. Because we kind of know what machines and all that kind of stuff. But I want to look into the alien tech just so I can start seeing, you know, where the branches are going to take us. and what. Oh my god, you just charged it as rapido you need to chill out dude you need to big chill out bean no 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 i can hear it calling me i don't know if it's a slug spitters leave me alone look through the window and witness a threat it's definitely not a slug oh my god can i break this limestone jeez oh my god collect it collect it collect it collect it collect it oh, get out get out get out get out get out oh my god i don't Berries, 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 berries. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized as compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Research oh, it in boy. the man to establish classification <gasps> and potential application. Hey, doggo. I got a little hurry and a little spicy. There's some ore should literally just be over here. There it is. I can see it. It isn't in pure nod. Oh, it's calling to me. <laughs> Right, so we do have the mam, so I'm going to place this down here because I do want to quickly just throw these down so we can start extracting the Samor because I want to look in here in the alien technology because we can see right there we've got Samor. We've got the Mercy Sphere, which I've just picked one up. So let's have a look at that research. And let's see what happens. Confirm. Oh, dialogue. Mercer Sphere analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, AB. B in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing the song. Arguing the existence huh? of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. What in the bloody hell was them cryptic messages? I thought they had nothing to do with the story the mercy spheres maybe they do i mean they just, they just lied about it so let's try and get the sam research oh there's the uh dimensional depot oh strange oh, oh. alien matter analysis completed dormant crystalline sam can now be found with the resource scanner in its dormant state it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely research for enabling the reanimation of dormant sam is now available fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples the sun will follow no, 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 no. 
No, no, no. You do not fill the river with, with the, the river, <laughs> rivers with blood. Hell no. Alien technology. We've got this. Some reanimation, which we do have enough to buy. Is this going to give me some dialogue as well? Oh, it is. <gasps> More lore. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided awakened. it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. For more hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. Are my nipples? Huh? Well, for me to unlock the dimensional depot, I need to get these, which are the sum fluctuators, and which these, if I'm not mistaken, are made in the manufacturer, so we're nowhere near getting these yet. Um, yeah, I, actually, unless I can make them by hand, but I need steel for these, but I'm pretty sure these were meant to be unlocked in tier three and four. So let me pick up my miners again, and then, oh, oh actually. <laughs> And then let's head back home. Okay, what else can I work on now? I think I might be able to maybe look at logistics and try and get splitters and everything so I can start looking at optimizing these a little bit better because right now it's a little bit all over the place. But it's actually doing what we need to do. So let's have a look what we need. Logistics, select mine stone. Let's just kind of throw all things in there. Oh, I need more bloody wire. So we'll just head over here, grab... Nice, we've got 457 in there. Beautiful. And then we can send that off. Wait, I'm missing something. <gasps> I'm missing a couple of rods. And then we can send that off. There we go. Boop. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Ada, you're starting to scare me. I'm not going to lie to you. Right, so I've got these two miners facing this way because I've placed down the foundation where I want to start our basic production. And I'm thinking about maybe starting with a few little engines so i'm what i'm thinking about doing is just putting some smelters in this direction maybe of the inputs this way no let's put the outputs towards me and we're just going to place some diff like different foundations in uh apart and then from here we're actually going to grab ourselves a merger i'm going to start facing you towards me like so connect the belts up like this and then we're going to bring you a little bit closer and i'm going to take this up by probably and then from here we're going to change it to a one meter and then kind of just like zoop that across and then remove these ones then we've got kind of got like a little platform of a head so let's kind of go with you like so and then we can just extend this across here so we're going to need one in the middle for the splitters another one for another smelter and then another one for another merger so we're kind of going to do this and then what i'm thinking about doing is doing like row uh, plates on one row uh, plates on one rods on the other I think so now here all i need to do is put down another smelter which is going to be here and another one here and then we're going to grab the splitter and we're just going to get this to go here i'm going to get these to kind of clip through oh my god i can't even jump over this i really need my blade runners so let's just kind of put that into there like so get them connected up like so and then we can just start powering them and then because that's going to go up onto that floor so i'm going to get a lift and we can actually take you to about there i need to do the same for this side as well so i need to get the mergers over here one two belts 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 connect belt to there grab lift take you up to about there and then i need a way of getting up here because i don't have any ladders or anything yet do i so I've decided I'm going to unlock the resource sink because we need the coupons. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. 
Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant fix-it coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Don't mind me. <laughs> she was just chatting away. There's me handcrafting some cables. Because why the bloody hell not? Because sometimes she can just blab on a little bit. So now at least I can put the awesome sink down. And then I want to put down a storage. Because from the little crash sites I've been finding. I can then put like the staters in there. The copy sheets. Uh, the pipes, I guess. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can throw in. I guess throw maybe. I, could, I guess I can throw the iron ingots in there. Oh, I need to power it, don't I? Um, let's just bring a power cable along here, connect you up to here, and then you to there. And then, beautiful. Now we can start making some points. Cool. Maybe not. <laughs> So remember, if you want to actually see me build all of this, you know, minute by minute, I'm actually currently doing a marathon stream right now. And I am got like 138 hours left on the marathon timer. So, oh boy, get your butts over there and make sure you come and see the behind the scenes of what is happening and what's being built and all that kind of good stuff. And just where we're heading, because more than likely the actual live streams will get way far ahead of the actual YouTube series. And then eventually you're going to kind of be behind, but then I also need to catch up. So... But if you want to see them, all you need to do is just go into the live category and you can see all my past broadcasts. So if you want to kind of just watch them and binge them as you're playing. But I've also created this little setup right here, which is just basically for me to put leaves in and wood. Uh, and then here I can make literally biomass. And then biomass can go into here so I can grab some of this. And then obviously we've just run out of power. So um, it basically allows me to quickly go throw these into these so I can get the power back of our own. Actually, I should really make another one of you because now they have inputs which is pretty nice um, so let's kind of get you powered up to you and then let's just throw some biomass into each one of these because we actually did break our circuit because all of these do have fuel it's just that we actually broke and blew our power line right so let's see how our little coupons going we've actually got 11 so let's print them get them out of there and then let's put an awesome shop down which hopefully i can build uh where is it awesome shop there it is beautiful so let's go into here and let's buy some essentials which I'm going to need, which is the conveyor holes, the wall attachments. I'm also going to need, don't need any of them, don't need any customizer stuff yet, don't need any foundations, don't need any walls, architecture. We're going to get ladders and then we're also going to get concrete pillars and road barriers. How much is that? That's 10. Okay, let's just buy that. Because now, I means I can put my ladders up here, like so. But then also, I can put road barriers down. So, like, say here. So I can put walls down if I hold control over the barrier. And then I can do my normal kind of, like, kind of, like, daisy chaining, semi-daisy chaining kind of systems, like so. And then, obviously, they're tied up to that. And then I can jump on top. Actually, I can link that together first. Then I can jump on top of it. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello, torch. Where are you at? There you go. Hello? Then we can jump on top of this and then literally aim up and then place that right there. And we're just going to do the same for this side over here also. Right, so I've got everything powered and I've also put the constructors on the second floor. So I've got the ingots coming up this side, which means the plates are being made in these two, but then I've also got the rods being made in them four. So we have the ingots coming up this side being split into these four splitters going into these four constructors which are making the iron rods. And then these are all coming down here on this side where I'm going to start making, well, storing the actually iron plates and whatnot because we actually needed them because I start, actually started removing the items from over here because obviously I removed these um, miners. They wasn't making anything. Actually, this one could have been, and I think it still is. No, because that's not even powered. And then I've just connected all the power connectors underneath like you saw me doing. And I'll just connect them to above and just kind of keep them tidy-ish for now. Because right now, we're literally at the at bare bones. We're not even into the juicy stuff just yet. And then over here, I've placed on another foundation, which is 
And then from over here where you can kind of see me standing now, I'm next to the copper node. And the copper node obviously is spitting out 120. We can only, con uh, you know, use 60 of that per minute. So I'm going to extend this foundation out a little bit because I know for a fact it's not going to be even big enough for what I need it for. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a smelter here like so. I'm going to put a smelter here. I think that's going to be enough room. Because what I want to do now is I want to put a constructor down. I want to line that up there, but I'm going to shift it over until about here. Not there, actually. I want to put it here, like that. Then I'm going to hold control and tap that four times. Well, three times. And then this one is going to feed these two, and this one's going to feed these two. And then we're just going to go into here. We're going to grab ourselves a splitter, and we're just going to place you down like so. Connect you guys up with belts. The reason being, if you are new to Satisfactory, the copper ingots needs 30 copper ore. This is sending out 120, but our belts only hold a maximum of 60. So 60 divided by 2 is going into 2 smelters. And then we have uh, 30 copper ingots coming out of here, which has been split into 2 with a splitter, which means 15 are going that way, 15 are going that way, go into making wire, 15 ingots make 30 wire. And that is basically what is happening here. So I'm just going to duplicate this on this side, like so. And then what we're going to do is on more than likely this side over here, we're going to get another constructor and we're actually going to place it in the middle of this foundation. So it's aimed at these two because these two are now going to merge together because we're going to turn these copper wire into cable. Wait, that's actually the wrong way. I need the input facing towards me, Mr. Bits, like that. So we're going to do that. Connect you up to there. So that's now going to be wire. I'm going to copy and paste that. So we're just going to control, so control V and onto these ones. And now we have the... Oh, I need to stop jumping. But you might have noticed as well, I've also got the uh, Blade Runners. So I've unlocked them inside the MAM because I need the speed. I can't even place a MAM down because I have no cable. Hence the reason we're putting this down. But I went into the cave down there um, where I fought a little bit of spiders. Uh, and then I also just got some quartz nodes and then I just smelted them. I didn't smelt them. I put them in the mam, which then allowed me to unlock the Blade Runners, which I needed frames. So obviously I needed to get the frames. I needed to unlock the assemblers. So I've got them. So now what we need is power. No, storage. I actually need storage. So I'm going to put these two together like here then i'm going to put this one around here like this then i can get you to go yeah maybe i move it forward a little bit like there maybe like that nice and then we'll get this one and then face this here with its back towards me and then we'll get a merger like here right cool cool get you in there get you in there you into that one so now this one's gonna be wires and this one's gonna be cable and then that's it then all i need to do is power that up and then bada bing bada bosh we then have wire and cable next thing i want to do is i want to quickly make myself a chainsaw which i need screws for and cable which i should have some wire i have plenty of wire so i can quickly grab some screws from here quickly just make a crafting bench and then quickly just handcraft a couple of cables like so and then i should be able to make this because i'm going to think what i'm going to make next is a little bit of a automated biomass setup which does mean i need the chainsaw to start cutting down a lot of these trees because i'm more than likely going to add extend this foundation along here and then start putting down um kind of like a area to put down maybe like 10 like biomass burners and then start putting an automated system here well a semi-automated because i need to put the storages in and i need to manually go and collect the biomass so I'm more than likely do it that way right so after many distractions later on the live stream um we've managed to kind of get this little system set up um because oh boy i'm not gonna lie i don't know how crazy this episode's gonna be or how well formatted it's gonna be um, like, like I said, the marathon stream is going absolutely crazy right now. And I'm trying to kind of like organize this video and make it well structured. So if it's not as structured as what it is normally, I apologize. The marathon stream is blowing my mind right now. And I'll, I'll thank you. If you tuned in, I appreciate you all. 
so so much like you've absolutely killed it and uh, it's it's uh, yeah i, I just want to thank you all again so so much for the support and um yeah i'm gonna try and make maybe uh edit down the the second episode into um from the live stream into more of a video but i'm gonna go record it on the gaming pc and not the stream pc so you're not gonna have any of the alerts and all that kind of stuff so it could just be straight gameplay and all that kind of stuff and i'll try and do my best to keep focused i promise it won't normally be like this but things are crazy right now so i've put down these two storages here which one takes leaves one takes wood the leaves go into this constructor this constructor takes leaves and goes into 60 biomass this biomass then goes into here which makes solid biofuel yes it's all unoptimized so that's why we're not talking about numbers uh so we've also gone into uh the solid biomass comes along here goes into this merger merges with the biomass well the solid biofuel biomass that's coming out of here which then goes into this constructor this splitter i can't even think it's been a long day <laughs> so it goes into this splitter and then it goes into these five little biomass burners right here uh, and we can see the fuel is kind of going in uh, and some of them have gone in quite a bit actually um so yeah, again, apologies if this video is all over the place. I'm doing my best to try and keep it organized for your guys' faces here over on the bloody YouTubes. And uh, and it, it makes it worse how it's episode one as well, which I've got to make a first impression. So <laughs> hopefully this does well. Right, so the thing I think I'm going to do next, I think I'm just going to double this little system here. I'm going to put it over here into this location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, basically, this is making plates on this side and rods on this side. So what I think I'm going to do is going to make this to be making plates and then bring in the two other iron nodes, which will make the rod station here. Um, so we'll have two sticks, two, two sections making rods and then this section making plates. So we'll have two lines making plates, two lines making rods. And then we could possibly look at bringing in some more iron ore to make some screws because it would be nice if I can kind of get the casted screws recipe right now so we can make straight from ingots and not from the rods. So that would be kind of beneficial to us. So as you can see, I managed to get the casted screw recipe and it obviously producing the constructor and produced at a 50 per minute rate. And then over here, you can see that I've got the rod set up now, which is basically a two to one ratio to the smelters. So every two smelter is four constructors. Same for this side. And then over here, we've got two smelters going into two constructors to make the plates. So it's a very, very simple, simple setup. And most players new enough generally know this. It's a very, very simple math ratio because if you look at this, copper ingots make 30 which go into 30 iron ingots and then if we put down a constructor uh we can then see 30 iron ingots goes into here to make plates uh, 30 iron goes in there to make 20 and that's what's happening over here so one two smelters to go to two constructors same on this side to then go into storage here this one is play, uh, ingots and ingots which make 60 per minute which then go upstairs and get split into four constructors which require 15 per minute to make rods and then rods then come down here and then go into these storages right here but this is not fully powered up yet because i need to kind of bring in the ore and in regards to that i will bring that in next step what is going on with that lighting that's a bit weird that's the first time i've seen that but guys i apologize this episode was all over the place we're still basic in this save so don't worry none of this is going to be permanent we're going to get to the juicy stuff later on so all i could do is apologize for how chaotic this video was and oh boy just thank you so much for your support on the marathon and just on the live stream on twitch and on youtube i didn't realize it was going to be chaos and it will affect this youtube video so thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for the support and i'll see you in another video which will be tomorrow because with the marathon stream happening i'm basically constantly playing satisfactory right now so hopefully you understand so thank you so much for the love and the support and i'll see you in another video